Welcome to another episode of That Thing You Didn't Know Previously Existed and Will Soon Be Unable to Live Without. Bringing you the latest news from around the verse, this is the MedMon News Network. This month, following the immense success of the Rock DS comes a revolutionary concept, the Hawk DS. We had the opportunity to speak with the developer who was involved in this breakthrough. So, we've been hearing calls from the community for more gameplay loops. Give us more, give us more. And while we were figuring out how to actually do that, we had a revolutionary breakthrough. We realized we could take existing gameplay loops and break them into smaller segments. This is how the Hawk DS was born. The Nusi on top of the Hawk has full control of the EMP, which allows the pilot to focus solely on flying the ship. This adds a new level of communication and teamwork, which we think people will enjoy. We're also looking at making it so that whoever may be in the prisoner pod can have access to a new size 2 turret. And during combat, for every criminal they defend against could be time off their impending sentence. But we didn't stop there. We have another concept in the works. Remember the elevator on the reclaimer? Well, now there's a seat for that. The seat is built into the landing gear and will allow someone to separately operate the elevator when needed. This allows for our new gameplay loop of Liftman V1, which will hopefully be applicable to all elevators in the future. After it was discovered that difficulty breathing on Hurston was due to worsening air quality and not heavy armor, the Hurston Air Quality Commission, or HAC, was formed to investigate the issue. As you know, Hurston Dynamics has recently established Hack Party of One to investigate potential causes of the worsening air quality. Anyone with information or ideas as to the causes are encouraged to see their local Hurston guard so they can make a formal complaint about it. And for the complaint form, we'll need your current address, licenses, and any known family members or loved ones, and their location. A new roadmap feature is being added called Predicted Bugs. This allows players to see what bugs they might experience during an upcoming patch. Examples of such bugs include clouds getting stuck inside ships, mines exploding on placement, and false FPS radar markers. Among the new features comes a new roadmap card, Accidental Switch Flips. In continuation with the current ability to trip over yourself while running or walking, this new feature will add the extra immersion of accidentally hitting a switch or button while piloting. This allows RNG to be added, which can then input a random value as to which button should be hit. This can range from engines, missiles, or self-destruct. Intoxication increases these chances greatly. And in this week's Food for Thought, Microtech claims that the glitches and errors in MobiGlass use may be due to user error, and they advise to make sure the device is being worn properly. <laughs>